Yes, The White Lotus Season 2 has come to an end with a shocking and tragic finale. But that wasn't to be the final chapter in one of HBO's hottest shows. That's right, next year we'll be visiting a third White Lotus property, as a third season has already been confirmed. I'm Matt Rogers and join me today as we take a look at what we know about Season 3 and even get creator, writer and director Mike White's input on what we should expect. Now I'm bringing you all the latest news and updates for The White Lotus and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. So a major spoiler warning for the entirety of Season 2 of The White Lotus, please do not keep watching unless you've completed the second season, as I will be talking about the events occurring in the final episode. You have been warned. Now every season of The White Lotus has followed a kind of template, if you will. It opens with a death and then we're tracked back to a week prior and each episode covers a full day leading up to the final scene, matching the opening scene of the show. It's kind of an anthology series in a way as we meet an almost entirely new cast in season 2, except of course Jennifer Coolidge as Tanya and her husband Greg, who we met in Hawaii and followed to Sicily. It would have been great to continue Tanya's story throughout the entire series, but it appears it wasn't to be with her tragic yet very on-brand demise in the Season 2 finale. Season 2 definitely stepped it up in many different ways. The White Lotus is known for being a complex study of characters and their relationships, and the amount of anxiety this show builds throughout the season is unlike anything I've ever seen. The murder scene in Season 1 was good, but the addition of the element of violence to this season, when Tanya shot up almost everyone on that yacht, really cemented this show as being one of the most intense dramas on television. Halfway through this season, HBO greenlit a season 3, showing this promo on their social media accounts, confirming that not only are we getting a third season, but also it will be at a new property, and really opening us up to endless possibilities. In the post-finale show, creator Mike White had this to say about what we can expect from a third season. The first season kind of highlighted money, and then the second season is sex, and I think the third season, it would be maybe a kind of satirical and funny look at death in Eastern religion and spirituality, and it feels like it could be a rich tapestry to do another round at White Lotus. Mike White being the brilliant writer that he is, I think his version of a funny satire covering death will be a very dark one, which is so perfect for this show, considering there's always been an undertone of a looming death over all the occupants of the White Lotus so far, and us never knowing who it's going to be in the end. Eastern religion seems to hint at the next location being in East Asia, of course. China, Hong Kong, Japan even. I saw some fans speculating that they might do something completely different location-wise and do a ski resort, but that doesn't really feel true to the summer sunshine aesthetic we know and expect from the show. But who knows for sure. Daphne toasts to their next vacation in the Maldives in the Season 2 finale, so that could easily be another potential double holiday for our happy couples. But will we have any familiar faces joining us for a third trip? Well, I don't think we've seen the end of Greg just yet. We know he's still around and his story hasn't really come to its conclusion, so I feel he needs to make his third appearance this time around. Maybe his first trip celebrating his newfound riches without Tanya? Maybe hunting his next victim? There's definitely potential there, but as long as he doesn't get a happy ending, I'll be happy, as he needs to go down for what he did to Tanya. Another thought is that we could have some characters from Season 1 come back for their second round. Connie Britton was initially meant to come back with Coolidge for Season 2, saying to Deadline, quote, Mike White wanted me to be in the second season, and there was an idea that I loved for the character. Our intention is to do it in the third season. I would love to see a spin-off of every character in that show. End quote. The only person that's come out and said that they'll be in Season 3 is Trisha Paytas. Now obviously that would never actually happen, but you have to admit that would be an interesting watch. But I have a theory. So aside from Jennifer Coolidge, Mike White also has a great friendship with Laura Dern, who he worked with in his other HBO show Enlightened, where she played the main character. 
Now, Dern was actually in The White Lotus Season 2. So, you know Dominic's estranged wife who he has a heated conversation with on the phone? That was Laura Dern. So, in theory, she and Dominic could get back together like it was hinted at in their last phone call and then try their luck on a family holiday in East Asia. I don't know, but to me, that story arc has legs and would allow some cast members to roll over into the next season and lead Dern to having a more significant presence in the show. A win-win, which surely Mike White is on board with. To be honest, I found it difficult to trust that season two would live up to the masterpiece that was season one, but it did, and even surpassed it in a lot of ways. So I have complete faith that we're in good hands, as long as HBO keeps Mike White writing and directing every episode and we get more of that signature White Lotus soundtrack. Season 3 is expected to premiere towards the end of 2023, but what do you want from Season 3? Who do you want in Season 3? Where do you want Season 3 to be? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard, and if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.